Hey everybody, how are we doing today? My name is Michael. I'm Neil. And welcome to Misfits Adventures. It's a little windy here in Vegas. That's why we're staying here at Extra Day. So uh, we're looking around today. So come on along for the ride. We're driving. So that's the RV park over there. We're now leaving it. Uh, we're going out to play a little bit. We are really bad parents. Uh, our poor dog is really upset. He's crying and whining. We left. Uh, we went to go see if we can actually stay in our spot one more night. It's supposed to be windy in the morning again, like 20, 30 miles an hour. But like I keep saying, I don't like driving in the wind. Um, the spot last night was supposed to be 50 or $42 plus tax, so it would have been 55 with the with the resort tax and all the other stuff that they do. But that's not the case. I guess they gave us a free or a, a bigger spot for the same price. Yeah, we reserved. Yeah. yeah, so because whatever we reserved because the one that we had didn't fit, so that was nice of them. So now what they're doing is uh, if we want to stay another night, it's going to be actually 6205. 6205. 6209 so I don't know I don't know what we're gonna do if we're gonna stay another night or not we'll get up in the morning if it's windy we'll stay um, but if not we'll drive up and I think the next stop we're gonna do is going to be Tonopah so uh, Tonopah has a lot of neat things to do there uh, there is an old town there and an old uh, mine or something and so that would be fun to do so we'll figure all that out when time comes and hopefully we have money and enough time to do it. Um, it's now the 21st, so we have, uh, we've got like 10 days to get up there, if that, so nine days, which we'll make it. We'll probably make it in about four or five. So now we're going to uh, down on the strip, uh, which is right out here, and we will uh, come back in a second. So we're out here driving and already we're lost because she's driving and right in front of me is Las Vegas Boulevard. So Las Vegas Boulevard is there. So it's either busy that way and everything's there or everything's down that way. So we're going to continue going that way for no reason at all. We can't, we can't turn because that was a turn lane and there's people behind us. So yeah. That. Looks like um, the Vegas Strip down there or down that way. So, yeah, lost again. Yeah, so this tram up here, I guess, goes to the airport, but it takes you to some of the casinos or something. They were talking about expanding the back here. So, they're probably that's what they're probably doing is expanding it, probably goes everywhere. But, uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. Why don't we turn here and go down the strip? Get all the way over. There you go. Old school Vegas. That's the Marriott. What's this over here? Ooh. It's the only one they got. I bet you they have several. I bet you there's so much convention space in Vegas because they've always had more than Orlando and then Orlando beat them. That's the Encore. That's the wind next to the Encore. Ow, that's her window. That's me hitting the window with the camera lens. Yeah, like contestant, you gotta go. No, really, do you wanna you don't like pickles and stuff anyway, so we don't have to go. So how I've always pictured Las Vegas is what you saw on the last video. Um, that's how I've always pictured Vegas, but no, it's pretty spread out and a uh, big huge tall skyscraper of uh, 
casino. What's this? Wow. Got a fight Saturday, March 26th. Lightweight battle. Here we go. We're getting into Planet Hollywood <coughs> and Encore. Let's hit the window again. So we got out of the parking garage and we're actually parked in a little mall kind of thing. So uh, Ann Taylor's here and uh, uh, Neiman Marcus is here and all the all the premium stores are here. Macy's up there. Saks, Dillard's. Saks, Dillard's, Nordstrom's, everything's in here. So it's a little mall area off the strip. But if you walk through these right here, uh, Plaza Dining Shopping and Las Vegas Boulevard. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out this way. Hey, let's go on the strip together, okay? It's Vegas, baby. <laughs> Good thing to do. You can get your hair done here. You can uh, actually sit there and listen to this guy, DJ. See? Pretty cool, huh? Only in Vegas. It's called the Dry Bar. Hey guys, what's your badge number? Yeah. Picking your butt, huh? Hey, I'm talking to you. What's your badge number? too windy and hopefully you can, can hear us <laughs> but hey we're on the strip and we're having a ball here yep. uh, this is the mirage the show doesn't start till 7 it's only like 4 30 5 o'clock we're probably not going to stick around for the show because of max in the car but i would love to see it um maybe another time we'll see but we're going to continue down uh, the strip come on with us
Cool. We take this camera. Hey guys, we're gonna go on into the Forum shop at Caesar's Palace and see what kind of cool stuff they have in here. Check it out. So we're gonna look for the Fountain of the Gods. That's where it's at. Ted Baker's of London. Oh my goodness. Nice clothes, huh? I couldn't see me wearing an outfit like that ever. Yeah. There's that staircase again over here. So they're right across the street from uh, Paris, where Donnie's at. Long Champ. That is beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, huh? That is cool. All right, let's go to the fountain. Pretty, pretty stones in there.
that was a Bellagio inside and uh, on the outside. Right across the street, we have Paris. We have Planet Hollywood over on the other side over there. Yep. Lots and lots of casinos, huh, honey? Oh, yeah. So, are you getting a little tired? Just need a snack and some... Food. We haven't eaten all day, have we? No. Yeah, we haven't eaten since uh, oatmeal this morning. So, oatmeal's wore out. It's now 4.30, 5 o'clock. And we got to find something to eat uh, or go back. So, we are going to uh, walk down a little bit further, I think. Get down on the street. And then uh, we're going to walk back all the way back to the mall. Get in the car and... Uh, Take off. Margaritaville, huh? Marble. Don't know how they do that, probably from the inside, but that's pretty friggin' cool. Wow. I think I know how they do it. I think they have a cage around it. And you can't see the cage, but it all lights up. One more. Let's see one more transition. Oh, that's pretty. LED, you can do all sorts of things with it.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we had a blast uh, going walking the streets and everything. We started at about two o'clock. Actually, we probably got on the strip about 2.30 because we got lost. <laughs> and then uh, we actually walked until seven o'clock. We didn't make it home until almost 8, 7.30. So that was a long day. And the only thing we didn't get to see is all the the fountains at night, yeah. um, the volcano at the Mirage and all that. And, but we didn't, we, I don't know, we were kind of going to go back tonight, but we decided not to do that because I'm tired and uh, she's tired and we're going to long drive tomorrow. So uh, with that said, I'm not going to even close out this video. So you guys are going to get in the car with us tomorrow and we'll uh, take off to Tonopah and uh, we'll stay there for maybe a night, uh, boondocking. And then from there, we're going to go up to Reno and for there, we're going to get into California and go up to Oregon as fast as possible. Yes and get up into Oregon and then uh, it's going to be probably a day or two before we get up into where we've got to be at um, at the campground. Yeah. So um, we probably won't be at the campground until next week sometime or the weekend. We'll yeah, see. The weekend. Yeah. And then we have to go up to uh, Astoria and or Seaside and I have to go to the doctor's offices. So we'll be doing that immediately after we get there. Uh, we will put our trailer in its spot and say hello to everybody and then we will automatically get in the car and drive up there and go to the doctors the next morning and then when we get done with that we come back and we'll start working and we can start our lives at the RV park yes. for the campground so uh, that's our plans guys so stick with us and uh, when we get up in the morning the next thing you're gonna see is us leaving so right yep. all right all right guys we're going to bed a few minutes. Have some dinner. We'll see you on the, tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? My name is Michael. And I'm Dion. And welcome to Misfits Adventures. Today is a travel day, and we're going to Tonopah. And that should be like a three and a half hour trip, I guess. Uh, we're going to be, up, I guess, going about 6,000 feet. 5,000 feet and hopefully the little truck can pull it up. I think we've done this in the past, but I don't know. We didn't have the bikes with us and everything else with us. So with that said, who knows what's going to happen today. So let's hope nothing does. Right? Right. All right. So we're going up to Tonopah. We're going to stay there the night in Boomdock, and then we're going to head off to Reno. So uh, we'll see you uh, when we get up there and I'll, I'll show you the road on the way. How's that? <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. It is super very windy again out here driving. We just went and got gas. I got 15 gallons of gas. It cost me $83.02. And that is at $5.39, which isn't bad. So, uh, yeah, everything looks good on the camper. Just circled around it. We're going to get going here in just a second. I get out of the wind. I'm going to help Dion. She's, uh, she's filling her air ty or tires with air. I'm going to help her. We just got gas, and this was a uh, Snow Mountain Tobacco and Chevron gas station. We're all gassed up. Uh, we're ready to go, and we're going to get on the highway. I just want to show you these uh, this nice car out here. These guys, he's been working on it underneath it for some reason. Really nice people at this little gas station. Very talkative guy that owns it. And uh, yeah, this wind is pretty sucky right now. It's uh, I don't know if you can see that flags up there, but I don't want to drive in this actually. So I don't know what we're gonna do here. We were safe at the campground, huh? Can't afford another $80 a night though, so we're gonna figure this out.
So we're back on the highway right now. This is uh, 95, and uh, I think we got 191 miles to go to Tonopah. So that's going to take us about three and a half to four hours at 65 miles an hour. Actually, it's 75 miles an hour if I want to. Uh, we're doing 50, and that's what we're going to do. Got lots of cows that kind of roam around on the uh, open range here. We both know we'll be together. Be a training base of some sort. If Those are fighter jet planes, probably be hangars out there. We'll be together forever. We can in Nevada, there's a lot of that out here. In the wind, same old right, roots, we're in a 45 we mile never zone. We're learning to right understand now. and see it. Together. We can be like the trees in the wind. Same old roots, but we can bend. Learning to understand and sway. Together Wind is coming out of the north northwest, and we are going north, so gas mileage is going to suck. Uh, we went 161 miles, and we filled it back up. Got 15 gallons of gas, almost 16 for the 161 miles. So we're spending pretty much a dollar a gallon in gas right now. So the whole total trip is. Uh, supposed to be a thousand miles I'm adding another two or three hundred miles onto it so we're gonna say about 1350 and so it's gonna cost us about that in gas it probably won't it probably a cost us probably about a hundred and or a, I don't know about a thousand dollars in gas for the both of us that's not too bad one more look at that shiny mountain over there Well, that's where we've been, Area 51 Cafe in Bunny Ranch, <laughs> which is right there. So we're leaving, guys. No bunnies were, were harmed in this video, and uh, yeah, didn't even get to meet a bunny. All right, Dion's going to go ahead of me in just a second. Let me turn around and get on this pavement. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Got to go around. Yeah, there's the pink building over there. All right, get ahead of me. We only have about a uh, hour left to get before we get to Tonopah. Uh, we just left Beatty, Nevada, went through it. We stopped to get some fuel. Uh, I had gone 100 miles since we left. And uh, the last uh, place we got fuel, so we paid it actually a little cheaper instead of paying the five, whatever it was, 30 or 40 or 50 cents a gallon. 
I think we paid five dollars a gallon, so that wasn't so bad. Um, I got ten gallons of gas, cost me fifty bucks, and uh, yep, now we're driving down the road. We'll be there in an hour. This is what it looks like. Here. someplace and uh, yep visitor center it's now 309 we have probably another 30 40 minutes before we get to where we're going and we don't even know if there is any boondocking or RV parks or anything around there so uh, we're going to be having to work on that in the next hour, I think. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that was a cop or it wasn't a cop, but it wasn't a cop. All right, guys, so we just got Gats again. Uh, I went 91 miles, and I ended up putting in 11.3 gallons. It was 65.50. Texaco is what I was looking at on the uh, Google Earth. She went and asked if we could park in the back. No camping allowed, but down the street is a casino. $15 a night, we can camp there overnight. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're heading over there that way and uh, get a spot. If there's spots or whatever there is, we're going to get it. Excuse me. And park. Get something to eat. Um, go to bed early tonight. It's only, it's only 4 o'clock, but... Probably by seven or eight when it gets dark, we won't have TV or anything to watch. So we're gonna go to bed, get up in the morning and uh, go do this again, get up into Reno. All right, guys. We're gonna be at the campground or wherever we're at, back at the casino. All right. So the uh, club is right there. And I guess they say we can park over here. So we got some UPS drivers who are swapping out their vehicles. 
Uh, looks like we're kind of pretty much uh, level. Yeah, so we're going to be here for the night. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go turn this gas on so I can put your pictures. Look, there's Maxers. Oh, there's Maxers. Finally, huh? Max. Max, you did have a good day. This is the drivers, UPS drivers are going. We'll probably get some later on, we'll probably get a bunch of big rigs in here and they'll probably be noisy. But you know something? We don't care, do we, Max? See how everything looks to the camper? Can't turn on all the lights. Actually, it looks pretty good. We didn't go over too many big bumps. Everything still stay there. The clock's up here. Everything's good. I did. And our refrigerator just turned on. Okay, leave the door open. Guess we can't see anything about it because we're not turning on lights. There we go. You okay? What's the first thing you're gonna do? Just sit down? You've been sitting all day. All right, guys. So we're here, and uh, I don't know what we're gonna do here for the next three or four hours before it gets light because we have no power, and we're not gonna take out the generator out of the truck, and we're not gonna hook even. So we're just going to be sitting here for the next three or four hours. So we might get up and leave early in the morning, I don't know. What, what? Wait a minute, it's... It's hold on. cookie time. Is it cookie time? Is it cookie time? Yeah. Oh, cookies are flying away! Wow, flying cookies! Got him in the head. He said, damn it, you got me in the head. No more. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> he says, well, I've got a little one. I don't need the big one. All right, guys, when these uh, trucks move and everything, uh, we'll set up. And uh, But we're not going to take out the generator, like I said, so we're going to be running off the flashlight power and nothing. So We're here. We got into Tonopah. Yes. And about 20 minutes ago, Gion went and got some beer. So we're set on that. And we found a nice place to park. So it is a big open parking lot, basically. Um, it's free boom docking. We had uh, three UPS trucks here just uh, trading out their trucks. And we have another guy with some big old blue stuff and now he's backing up, so I don't know what he's doing. But I think they all do this differently and we're probably right in the middle and I got her to park next to us so there'd be nobody uh, right next to us, right? So at least we'll get some sleep. Because we're here and uh, we're gonna spend the night here in the camper. And uh, first thing in the morning we're gonna get up. There's no hookups here, it's dry camping. Uh, we're not even gonna take the generator out because it's stupid to do that we're in a little parking lot so we'll get up earlier in the morning and then we'll go to bed earlier tonight and uh, we'll get up on the road and we're gonna go to Reno so uh, next week come back and see us we'll be going to Reno and then into Oregon and uh, you'll get to see all that okay so right now we're gonna wrap up this video because I am starving we got some hamburgers thawing out and uh, we're gonna cook those and uh, eat some burgers and Max is gonna eat a burger too because he loves burgers <laughs> and uh, yep and then we're gonna uh, go to bed early I'm gonna edit some video a little bit and that's about it huh yeah so thank you guys for watching we appreciate you guys watching every week um, come back next Sunday at 6 o'clock in the morning for another adventure and then uh, you can always write us at msfitzsadventures at gmail.com. You can see us on Facebook. You can see us on Instagram. And then we do have our website, which is misfitsadventures.com. And misfitsadventures.com, we have a link that will take you to YouTube and to all our blog. And everything on that page is awesome. So you guys got to check that out. And then uh, come back and see us. That's all I can tell you. Be safe. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.